Oh, 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 folks, and welcome back to Good Soldier. I do apologize. Come on, focus on this. There we go. I do apologize for the abrupt end to the last set. Honestly, I was falling asleep. I. Fuck. It, I was just completely knackered. I was completely knackered. Um, my sleep schedule has been entirely out of whack. Waking up during the, sleeping during the day, wake at night. I was hoping to finish that mission, but I, I, I for a bit there, I couldn't keep my eyes open. So it was just, and I still had to go out. So I was just kind of like conserving my mental energy so I could. Um, actually function for the bit of the day I had to function for there. Before, you know, passing out in bed. I've got a new duvet recently and it's, oh, it's like I'm sleeping on a cloud. It's fucking lovely. Okay, I'm not really sure where to go from here. Okay, I think what happened was this glitched. Those two guys were meant to get to that door, but because one didn't, the door wouldn't open. Now you're thinking with dwarves. Stampede! Bind me, now. I need four IT now. Track. Originally created to travel quickly in cave labyrinths and the Moria mines, these vehicles now have an insula uh, insulation base for iron miner trike, submachine gun if combined with a beta, tax air and ground, fire miner trike, uh, flamethrower if combined with a beta F. One. Sadly, they don't count towards uh, this. Oh, I can hear the, god the goddamn queen song. Uh, are you ready for this? Uh, standing at the Sitting on the edge of your seat. Another one bites the dust. That was clean, right? I'm checking. Yeah, it is clean. Yeah. Sorry, I was starting to get paranoid and second guess myself. I'm trying to question the stability of this place, like, my god.
barely draining mana uh, energy, honestly. We can keep this up forever. Even if it is a slow trek forwards, we will just gut our way through. Could activate his armor up, but I'll just make him move even slower. Getting even worse. Come on. She could fire a move like you could in that damn cutscene. Yeah, no, there's no way they can do. There's no way they can do shit. Okay, Strider, up here. If we could bring this with us, the anvil, it would be helpful. I'm so glad this guy can push. This would be broken otherwise. Wonder is, wonder if there's a way to cheat and just to take control of the unit. Other units are useful in uh, pinning this guy down. Friends from wandering too far. There we go. I've got the scent. I wander alone. On the prowl. I'm acting on instinct. Our paths converge. Flush them out. Unleash my strain. I break the trap. I just push hard. Critical? 
Yeah, you have to you have to charge. If you get if they're given enough time to get an order, then you're not going to get through. You saw how much they built up there a moment ago. You're not gonna get fucking true. Keep pushing. I was wondering if these bikes could somehow do something by themselves against the swarm, but no. They're just additional firepower for your group to push through. They're, they're a nice solid unit, certainly, but... Why are there so many down here? Ain't no goddamn uh, boys... Uh, ain't, ain't no goddamn boys left down here, just pile of damn corpses. These damn shits will eat anything they come across. I think it means there's no Zerg left here. Like, like these uh, Ursodons even ate them. That's why there's so many down here. They've been feasting on the Zerg. As long as he keeps ending up in front, it's all good. Yes, drive right through the train. Well done. It really is an old train vehicle, ain't it? I did really like the... Um, I, me I was having a look at the old footage, at least the, the video titles and thumbnails. The, uh, I liked the, uh, I remember liking the bit of Warcraft 3 there. Uh, but sorry, the, like, we end up playing as elves or something. That was a nice little segment, I remember. Control. Ground, uh, safe ground. Begin repairs and debris, uh, debris removal throughout the area. Bring walls in, too. We found the terminal room, I think. You're rocking this, Oscar. But yeah, I remember liking that little segment. It was cool. The UI, I don't think, fully clicked in or something. I remember being off, but it was cool. What do you think, Professor? Very interesting. And disturbing. This facility once functioned as a bioweapons laboratory under Confederacy control. Ton of dead Zerg. These tubes you see here contain millions of artificially generated genetic seeds. Failed experiment aided using Caldera's fauna as bioweapons. Bioweapons. These bastards always with the same card. Are they Zerg? No. From what I see here, the genetic he helix. Uh, from my from here, I see genetic helix monitor. They're closer to a lizard than a zerg. As useless as you see my studies, I know more than just prescribing diarrhea medicine, Sergeant. My sergeant is right. It's an, it's an entirely different form of existence. But now I'm able to gather further information. Because everything appears classified. And hack the terminal, which computer tricks, Professor. 
The terminals are not like in the movies, Mr. Colt. It's more complicated than that. Wells, is there a map of this sector on that machine? Are there more zones we can release? I'm sorry, Oscar. This is all there is to this level. Oh, scream of frustration. Take it easy, cop. What the hell do you want me? Uh, how the hell do you want me to take it easy? Five times we've done this, and five times it's been a waste of time. My father is waiting for his son to lead our brothers. And all I've achieved is wasting time. How does the mo uh, does the monitor show other zones on other floors? Floors below or other blocked areas? No data is available for levels 1 and 2. The last recorded information for level 3 indicates an excavation operation in sector 15. You and your brothers can go explore that area, but you'll be flying solo. Our suits aren't built to handle the damn cold down there. Then have a point. And then have a point while I warm the place up. Well, while I warmed up the place. The boy has spirit. I wish I could not bother him so much. Don't underestimate Ekon, Fen. Matching a base of this magnitude is no simple task. Only the logistics uh, is already in, in itself maddening, and only with a handful of peop helpful people, the fact we're alive is, such is a miracle. Yeah, kind of garbled out. Never thought that a mere presence would bring so many problems. Enough with the bullshit from the past. We got plenty of shit to deal with every day, each day. Let's move on. Modi's Forge, per uh, former permafrost machine uh, machinery sector. What's this thing been? It's an SCV, Chief. It's a machine that repairs other machines. Very clever junk. These puffs cannot even repair their own. Uh, Fang contraptions. Uncle Modi. Oscar, what brings you here, lad? Well, SCVs are actually piloted. But, mm -hmm. we're knee-deep in shape, aren't, aren't we? Get the guys ready and build a new base. Use all the equipment and machines we have. When you have the base done, I'll send more men and materials. Thanks, Uncle. I'll make you proud. What the hell do we do, Bean? Not sure, Modi. William. Chief, it's Chief Davin. Bean, I've known you since you peed the bed. Call me Smurf. Hi, Chief. Did something happen to Jurgen? Jurgen is fine. It's Oscar who worries me. Or it's about a mining operation. He's desperate to find space for people here. That Roshabai wants to kick us out because we use too much space and need too much. Don't, I don't blame anyone. They both have good intentions. But you know well that Oscar doesn't have permission to start a mining operation, William. Doesn't have the beard for that yet. No one is the age when it's your turn, Chief. Maybe, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to call the Silverbeards. You make sure the machines work. What the hell is that, Chubby? Looks like a puffed chicken. Very puff. Poof. Can you do something with it? The rules look strong in the frame, too. 
Send them to Check Check. That's a YouTuber. I mean, not YouTuber. That's a, another modder, a map maker, I think. The name is very familiar. Their name is... Details escape me right now. I apologize, but I've seen that name. I know I'm not me father, but... You don't need a speech, laddie. Just say where to dig. Thank you, brothers. Let's show these white pipes what the cows are made of. Um, Turretar. Turretars are not tanks, but rather a hybrid combination of a laser drill and a cargo vehicle. But having the engine power and impact of a tank, their primary purpose is not combat. They're specifically designed for mining operations, with their large size and weight, enabling them to resist the pressures of a collapsing mountain. Turretars move slowly due to their substantial build, allowing them to endure challenging conditions while excavating uh, resources efficiently. Though not designed for combat, to possess durability and resilience, new design and functionality make them valuable assets in resource extraction. Um, heavy defense vehicle capable of carrying units aside can learn grub steak. Uh, tragedy of level 20. Uh, the Ginger uh, the Ginger Snow Guild, led by Freya Snowden and Kier Willard, were pioneers who established the first settlements in mines on the desolate planet of Moira, Moria. Following humanity's exodus to Kapuro's sector, the guild was assigned to uh, extract rare materials, rare minerals from the planet's steps to support colonization effort. Over between the construction of, 20th, of level 20 of one of the mines, a massive earthquake struck, collapsing the mine uh, from the 15th uh, floor down, burying the entire workers' union. Despite the possibility of survivors ruining uh, coalitions and syndicates postponed any rescue attempt, convinced that no one could have survived such a disaster. Nevertheless, the members of the Ginger Snow Guild refused to give up hope, even as they struggled in to survive in the dark, cramped to tunnels that became their home. Over time, they adapted to new surroundings, undergoing profound biological, physical, and psychological changes. As they learned to coexist with the strange and terrifying fauna lurking in the depths of Mo Moria, they fashioned weapons and tools from materials they could scavenge. As they honed their mining skills, they uncovered new and valuable rare m minerals buried deep within the planet. For over 200 years, they lived in isolation, to the society evolving in ways that were unimaginable to people on the surface. They sold themselves as a distinct and separate race of humans, with their own language, customs, and beliefs. And then after generations of waiting, they emerged from the planet's depths. Their faces twisted with anger and resentment towards surface wars who abandoned them to their fate. They were descendants of the few who had survived the mind collapse. The world spoke volumes. More than ten generations have waited for this, been waiting for this moment. What a disappointment. I'm just wondering how many survived the collapse, because it's just like, how inbred are they? Like, my god. Um, faction aspects. They have no weapon or armor upgrades. If there, if there are, those are particular. Uh, they possess economy improvements, and several units can collect resources. They have two unique buildings that cannot be built or rebuilt once lost. They have unique and powerful heroes that uh, once created modified objectives of the game. If they are created, they become the primary objective of keeping them alive. They are expensive in resources. Yeah, I think that's an uh, artist, but with a visor. That's uh, the... Uh, that's Rainer's engineer guy. Bloodstone laser. It allows any unit uh, with cargo capacity to have self-service pack. Uh, allows any unit with cargo capacity to have self-service packages with food, medicine, and a good drink. So we use units inside the vehicle that have grub packs. Uh, PCD. There we go. That up, hit that up. Hit this up, hit this up. 
built to um okay clergy area build the pcd built to kin a distillery a forge and a bar Okay, let's build two kin. We're going to need space. The cows hold a deep reverence for their first families, considering them indispensable when starting a new one. The concept of family serves as their sole anchor, sanctuary returned to after each arduous shift. This cherished tradition has given rise to a cluster of dwellings encased within a sphere of crystal and metal known as kin. These domes feature surface-level houses, accompanied by a labyrinthine network of underground abodes. Amidst this intricate setting, one finds an abundance of crystal formations, minerals, and diverse mushrooms that cows cultivate for sustenance, water, and other necessities for survival. Each cane constitutes a valuable 50 supply, ensuring the community's growth and well-being. That's insane. What do you need? Hmm. They go on about its durability. It's got 300 arm uh, health, but only one armor. It's not the strongest, really. Like, really, it only reduces damage by one. I'm your shooter. I'll take care of it. I saw. 2.25. Uh, 2.81. I'm your father. Great. Don't get stuck over there, you bastard. That's the area clear. Speak up, boss. Hey, no problem. These do take a while to build. Uh, it's a minute. Hmm. Probably with at faster speeds, it doesn't actually take a minute, but still. I can feel it. I've been garbling, I feel I've been garbling my words here as I'm trying to read here today for some reason. I apologize. I know, I'm just tongue-tied, I guess. There's no gas here, Oscar. About a couple of distilleries. Let's make a few gallons. Gallons. Hi. I'll do what I take. Aye, sir. The story. For Cal's minerals pose little concern. True challenge lies in acquiring sufficient fuel in not all its forms. Sheer size and weight of the vehicles and suits result in substantial Vespian consumption. Where the Kells possess a fortunate skill, they excel at the craft of alcohol production. Their Kell oil is renowned for its exceptional potency to the point it can be regarded as a viable fuel source. Leveraging this advantage, Kells utilize the stories to generate Vespian that can power the machines. These Asuris periodically produce Vespin when activated, albeit it costs minerals. This resourceful approach ensures a steady supply of fuel to keep their machinery and technology in motion. There is, you know, a little good heavy to start the day. And there is, you know, like a good old heavy to end the day. See how it works, lad. Modi. It's not like in bit of hard alcohol to start today and end it. Oh, only one? Okay. He said multiple, so I was going multiple, but apparently new.
Oh yeah, we can actually go up to 200, can't we? Good. Let's build a forge. My uncle has, a, has new things for us. Proof filters. Uh, produces five Vespin. Time for a sippy. Modi's forge. Uh, the place where the forge master makes all the possible improvements for mining operations. Provides upgrades to units, structures, and economy. Yeah, it's going f at four at a time. No way. No, it's true. Three for five minerals every three seconds. I'll do what I take. You know what? That is pretty low. Do another. Need to be sure to turn those off if I'm ever having mineral problems. Or not jetting enough as, uh, as much as I'd like. Turn off, activate it again. Just to synchronize it. Uh, now let, uh, let old Shar regale us with his tales of dragons and dwarf kings. Uh, as the miners wait for their next turn, they meet at old Shar Dunn's bar, who tells fantastic stories about a land called Arcane. Ah! Uh, I was not expecting that, I was not expecting that. Uh, I was more in infantry to be trained. Wait, wait. Char. Char Dunn. Char. Ah, uh, that's. Yeah, I get it. Um. The guy behind. Uh. Arcane. Is Char Dunn Dread. Or something. Uh. Now I'm par. Like, I know it's. Char Dunn. Because they wrote it there, but now I'm paranoid, like, what was the ending? What was the ending? What didn't they say? <laughs> I'm just starting to second-guess myself. Okay. Uh, conscript upgrades that only fit conscripts. First aid kit, basic welding tools. Quartering. Uh, reduces training time. Enables uh, pyrotechnic be um, beta conscripts. And HMG range. Hmm. Increases plasma mo uh, mollus damage by five against armor units. Uh, more in prismatic. You're using them backwards, you dauber. Increases range of mortars. Improved uh, filters. They produce five Vespine. Uh, chemical tam tempering. Increases the armor structure by two. Increases the time. Uh, it increases in the number of minerals harvested by miners. Ooh, nice. Uh, tool maintenance allows miners to be released from the work shift and save resources. Moves the miner increases mine rules by 10. Oh. That's useful. So if you have too many miners, you can just, you know, get rid of them. Uh, rather than having to kill them. 
It allows the construction of dormitories inside the excavations of mines, where the miners can sleep, eat, and dry their clothes, or as the cow also calls call it, dry the boots. It's a minor training time to seven. Uh, most PCD to purify and extract more materials from the excavations. Produces one min uh, mineral every five seconds. Nice, and it's level one upgrade. But this requires energy. It's not genning any right now. Mildly concerning. A morning tavern where tales of monsters and knights of old Shard Dunn are shared over drinks. So, um... I'm your shooter. I okay. Time to go. Move up, go here. Okay. Time to go. So yeah, that's a reference to the other campaign series I'm doing. And the guy behind it. So that's cool. Wait, wait. Um... Need to just check one thing. Um, Starcraft two time convergence. Vasta next. Vasta also did art in Arcane. He, uh, you've seen it in some of my thumbnails of vids, Arcane vids. Um, he's also done art for it. As far as I know, that was his work. Um, I'm, I, I'm just... Uh, the way I am right now, I'm second-guessing everything. If I was to say my name's Pound, I, I was like, is it really? I'll start second-guessing it. That's just where I'm at mentally right now. I'm just off today for some reason. Maybe it's because I slept weird. I don't know. But um, as far as I remember, yeah, Vastan did art for it. Um, of different characters. Um, it's cool. I like it. It only starts um, somewhere in the like second book territory. It would be cool to see uh, art for characters that didn't make it that far. But there's also plenty of characters there that have. So it's just like, let's not bring down more work on the guy. <laughs> let's not, uh, you know, let's not, uh, uh, you know, I'll ease up on the whip here. Uh Come on. I need these going to get upgrades. You have a target? What do you need? I read you. Aye, sir. You got some work for me? Take up a bit of space. Oscar, we're done with the preparations, lad. Well done, brothers. Let's build a foundry and start heating up this place. Sector 15, days later, foundry construction and thermal conditioning finished. Dude, we can finally go down without freezing our asses. You guys are great. Thank you, friend. We've also begun mining a, a mineral quarry, and the torturers are making their way through the halls. Awesome. Has any bug appeared? None yet, but if one shows up, we'll step on it. Don't get smug on me, boy. You and your sis fought those damn worms. She damn near kicked the bucket. If Hendrix hadn't shown up, you'd be in some serious shit. Do you think I need to be reminded of this? You're damn right. Happened on your watch. Big bear step on the big bug, or am I wrong?
Me brothers will be ready, sir. Attention all baiters. Prepare anvils and load, load them at each secondary gate. Grip flame swords and rifles. Fortifying defenses move out. Want eagles looking at every corner, at every angle. Sorry about that. Don't be mate. He is right. Oscar. God, you're huge. Uncle Smurf. Did something happen to Erwin or... No, I came to see you. I heard that you had a mining operation. Aye, my father is, in, is not in a condition to. That is not in your power, Oscar. Mining operations are discussed with area chiefs first. That your brothers followed you is because you are the son of Jurgen. The elders are not happy that you didn't ask for their advice or permission. I am sorry. I just wanted to. I know. You have your father's heart, but your beard is still very short. Silverbeards and I will take command of the operation. I want you out, Oscar. No complaints. Understood. Aren't you going to say something, Oscar? You started all this. So to all respect our elders, I didn't ask permission or advice. I just respected them. I think you did great, Ox. Thank you, friend. I want the foundry chimneys active only for levels one and two for the time being. I also want only one capsule for the crane in case of emergency. Tour Tower 45, Operator Reporting to Control. Commencing cryo rock drilling in Quadrant 3. Roger that. Get scaffolding equipment ready and start constructing reinforcement pillars. Take extra caution. This area is more water than rock. It ensures stability. Gabby, Chief Master. Fucking hell. What in the... Shut down the foundry! Shut down the foundry! It's melting the ice! Drilling completed. Route to... What in the hell is that? All units to the base, now! Control, control, something weird's going on. The cave is moving. The foundry cannot be turned off. Shit. All units, be prepared to defend this position. No bog passes through these gates. That's an order. Uh, upper levels, listen up. If everyone goes south, seal off this level's entrance. No time to waste. Stay sharp. Foundry. The foundry serves as the primary source of molten metals and alloys, central for the Morian's machinery and upgrades. It enables the workshop to construct various ma uh, machined units such as the trike, throw anvil, and more. However, the foundry operates with a constant rate of uh, material and fuel consumption, even when at full capacity. Here are the details. For five seconds, the foundry consumes 25 minerals and 5 vespine for 20 energy. The value of X corresponds to the crane, selected, uh, crane shift selected in the foundry. The uh, discontinuous uh, resource consumption ensures the foundry remains operational, providing necessary material and materials for Morian advancements. Crane. Although the foundry is situated on surface, the slag converter core, which generates power for the buildings, is located several sublevels below. To access the core, a unit capsule is lowered and lifted by the crane through a treacherous expanse of magma and slag. This allows for its operation within the core. However, when challenges arise on the surface, crane bosses are summoned to fix the issues and restore order. Uh, 
These experienced individuals are tasked with resolving any problems that may arise in the upper levels, utilizing their expertise and leadership to ensure smooth operations. It allows to train powerful and unique units. Turrets. Buildable turrets that betas can control to answer firepower. The uh, heavy machine gun turret and the Zarin laser turret. Zarin? Isn't that the name of the Dwarf King in uh, Arcane, or am I getting twitchy? Hmm. It's weird. This coal has been tasting weird as late. It starts tasting fine, but then it just starts tasting off to me. I think it's more me than the cola, but still. You have a target? Bones heal. Pain is temporary. I'm tired of waiting. I ain't getting any younger. Chief, I also come across uh, some new quarries, and the sensors reckon there's Vespian around, but it ain't in its usual gaseous state. Can't pinpoint where it's exactly hiding. 